Herbert, what's the difference between this and this? They're both loop piles. Yeah, this is called Berber. Berber has very large loops. Because, and that's not because it's got a lot of thread on it, because it's full of air. It's full of air. Huh? Not twisted tight. Right. It just and so it's got lots of air versus this. I've got two pieces of Berber up here. This is a multi-level loop Berber. So rather than using color to give it a design, <coughs> you just simply got the design by the different levels. If you walk into a family room, first of all, take a big, big deep breath. So you're going to be there a little longer than you were planning on. Because you're going to have to take extra dry strokes. As Dan mentioned, Berber takes a lot longer to dry. Typically twice as long. Why? Usually it's made out of olefin. Where did much of the solution go? To the back. That also means you're going to have more reappearing spots, wicking problems, etc. The other thing is, because they're big loops, there's big valleys, which means you lose a bunch of your vacuum. Water doesn't absorb into the olefin. Does not absorb into it, but the water's got to go someplace. It's got to evaporate, and so it'll still climb the olefin fibers. We'll get into that when we get into wicking. One couple of things I want to show you, but so if they have ceiling fans like we've got in here, if they're not on, ask permission to turn them on. If you've got a blower in your van, bring it in because you want to speed up the drain. Problems like wicking, reappearing spots, etc., don't happen on dry carpet. They happen on wet carpet. The faster you get this dry, the better off you're going to be. The other thing I want to point about about these two pieces of Berber is this is one solid color. Very most likely, this is 100% olefin. If you see solid color, almost certainly it's 100% olefin. If you see multiple colors, almost certainly it's mostly olefin with some nylon. Why did they do that? This is a 90% olefin, 10% nylon. Why did they do that? because you are, with the olefin, you're limited on the colors you can use because it's solution dye. So to add more color, they use some nylon. You just lost one of the big advantages of olefin, which is you can't use bleach on this. So that kind of gives you a clue. The other thing is when I pass these out to you, feel this one and then feel this one, and it's startling what a difference just a 10% nylon makes on its hand. The other thing on that multi-level loop, take your little, take, take your hand like this, pretend this is the slot of your, of your tool. And what do you notice when you pass your hand over that multi-level loop? Well, yeah, you've got these big valleys where you're just sucking air out of the atmosphere. And that's another reason why frequently the Berber is harder to dry. You, what's that tell you about? Let's say you had that multi-level loop Berber there. It tells you, number one, you're going to have to take multiple dry strokes, but you should also overlap, 50% overlap with your strokes. Is this going to take longer to clean? Yeah, it's going to take twice as long to clean. That's the reality. Is it more important to vacuum that first? Oh yeah, the regular vacuum. Yeah, very yeah, definitely. Is, uh, very definitely. All the stuff in the crows. Because then you're going to get get it less wet. So overlap solution strokes. Solution and dry strokes. Because one of the biggest problems you're going to run into with Berber is streaking. So you want to avoid that. So you want to get some overlap. You should normally overlap anyhow, but with Berber, it's critical that you overlap and get extra dry strokes.